Welcome back to this special World Cup draw edition of the CNN Football Club. The draw is over. Group D with Uruguay, England and Italy could be one of the strongest. But arguably, there's a, there's a few really tough groups in there, aren't there, Alex? Yeah, Amanda, let's just whip through the groups one by one so we can try and take stock. The host Brazil, their first game and the first game of the 2014 World Cup will be against Croatia. Remember, the hosts have won the World Cup more time... Well, not the hosts, generally, but Brazil have won the World Cup more times than any other. Five times, in fact. Huge pressure on them to do it 64 years after they last hosted this competition. What about Group B? Spain, the reigning world champions, with a rematch of the team they beat in the 2010 final, the Netherlands, also Chile and Australia in that particular group. What about Group C? Colombia and their... Top marksman Radamel Falcao against the 2004 European champions Greece. The Ivory Coast, who've got a talented squad but seem to disappoint in major competitions. And Japan with some very skillful players indeed. indeed. Group D, arguably one of the so-called groups of death that always get discussed. Uruguay, two-time world champions and winners last time this competition was held in Brazil. Costa Rica, uh, absolutely no mugs. England have got a huge challenge to get through that group because Italy are also in there. Four-time world champions as recently as 2006, even though they lost at the group stages four years ago. On to Group E, and maybe France have been the luckiest team of all the lowest-ranked European team to qualify. They had to come through the playoffs. They're up against Switzerland, arguably one of the weaker of the top seeds. Ecuador and Honduras complete that group in Group F. We've got Argentina, again, uh, previous world champions, one of eight. Every single one of the eight former nations that have won a World Cup are in this tournament. Bosnia-Herzegovina a World Cup debutants. They've never played in the World Cup since they became a country. Iran are rank outsiders. Nigeria are the reigning African champions, though. And you could argue that one of the African teams are just ripe to do something that no other African side has done, and that's reached the semi-finals of a World Cup. What about this other candidate for the group of death, Germany, uh, three-time former world champions, Portugal with Cristiano Ronaldo. Germany had the most goals in European qualifying. The first game they play at this World Cup will mean they're the first country to play 100 World Cup games in their history. Ghana reached the quarterfinals at the last World Cup. They were the best performing African side on home soil. And we got the United States, coached by Jurgen Klinsmann, who of course is German. That'll be absolutely fascinating. He won the World Cup with Germany in 1990, the last time they lifted football's biggest prize. And what about Group H with Belgium and so many talented players playing for top European clubs, especially in England's world-famous Premier League? We've got Algeria there. We've also got Russia, coached by the uh, former England man Fabio Capello. And we know that they're going to host the World Cup in uh, 2018, so they'll be under pressure to perform. South Korea, semi-finalists from 2002. That is a quick snapshot of all the groups.